All right. Um, I love how it gets smaller and goes up to right. Um, so it asks us to do something about factoring. And one of the most common times we look at factoring is we think of Kevin as factoring out the greatest common factor. And then we also think of factoring a trinomial, right? That's usually what comes to our mind when we think of factoring. Factoring out a number and then factoring a trinomial, Correct. right? Where you have like, you know, trinomial to two binomials. We, a lot of times we forget about difference of two squares because it's only two terms. And then also, a lot of times we forget about factoring by grouping because it has four terms. Well, remember guys, if I'm talking about factoring or whenever you see four terms, think about using factoring by grouping. So when we're using factoring by grouping, remember what we're gonna wanna do is group together the first two terms and the last two terms, all right? You, sometimes you have to manipulate them, but usually we'll just group these two terms, and then what I do is factor out the greatest common factor for both of those terms. So for the first, for the first set, I know I can factor out a cosecant squared, right? I could factor out a cosecant, but that's not the greatest. I can factor out a greatest, a cosecant squared. So when I factor out a cosecant squared of x, I'm left with still a cosecant of x minus one. Everybody follow me for what I did there. <coughs> the important thing to understand when you do practice with group, um, factor by grouping, is notice this is a minus one. I want this and my other term to be exactly the same. Therefore, since it's a positive one, I'm gonna wanna make that a negative one. And I'll show you why in a second. But you wanna make these two, what's inside the parentheses, the same. So instead of factoring out a one, because there is no greatest common factor here, or I'm sorry, there's no other number besides one that's the greatest common factor, I'm gonna to wanna to factor out a negative one. So what I'll do is I'll factor out a negative one, and that will leave me with a positive cosecant x minus one. So now, do you guys see that these are exactly the same? And that's what I want. If they're not exactly the same, then you can't do what we're about, you can't factor them out. So that's why I factored out a negative one and not just a regular one. Okay. So now that these are exactly the same, we're going to factor out both of these terms. So I'm going to say now I'm going to factor out cosecant of x minus 1. And what I'll be left with is a cosecant squared of x uh, minus 1. Right? Yeah, you are right. Yeah. So let's make sure that they stay. Cosecant squared minus one. Okay, that's good. Then I go ahead and take a look at this and I say, all right, well, what is what about cosecant squared of x? What is that going to equal? I forgot my name, so I can write cosecant one plus cotangent equals cosecant. So cosecant squared times minus one is going to equal cotangent, right? Let's see here now, what I can do is I can multiply that through, all right? So, like I said, I'm just trying things. I don't know what else is gonna work, but let me just go and see if trying things that'll simplify more. So if I multiply this through now, I'll get cosecant of x times cotangent squared of x minus cotangent squared of x. Right? Well, did I simplify that? Did I really make it even easier? I don't know. Let's transfer these to sines and cosines to see what happens. Cosecant is going to be one over sine x, right? Times cotangent, which is cosine over sine, cosine squared over sine squared of x, minus sine squared minus cosine, cosine squared over. And you guys can see that nothing really cancels out, right? Nothing really cancels out, right? I was hoping they. Well, remember this is mul this cotangent is multiplied by the cosecant, so you can't subtract it. So really, my simplest form just gonna be right there: cosecant x minus one times cotangent. So I mean, I try, like I said, try, see what happens. Try, you know, multiply through, see if it switches. And it doesn't work. Once you guys get used to this, you'll be able to do it in your head and kind of look at it and be like, oh no, that's as far as I can go. That's your simplest answer. Or that's you know, your simplified answer.
Okay. All right. Ladies and gents, that is